A new trend in media now is for NFL teams to put out these really cool behind the scenes draft war room videos. And the Panthers dropped theirs this week. And apparently the Minnesota Fighting Vikings and general manager Rick Spielman made a pass at the number eight overall pick. Also, it's ironic that it's called Panthers Confidential when you just blab everyone's business. Bop, 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 bop. Anyway, Spielman called up and offered 14, a third round pick and a fourth round pick as well to move up six spots. Panthers GM Scott Fritter quickly said no. And the Vikings refused to budge on including a future first-round pick. Now, this had been on the heels that the Vikings tried to trade up to 11 with the New York football Giants to land quarterback Justin Fields, who ultimately went to the Bears. I still think that Spielman was only in on that to drive up the price for the Bears, by the way, but it's beside the point. Although, we talked a few weeks ago as well that we heard that the interest was minimal. Minimal. And a lot of fans are freaking out. Where it's like, bah, Spielman screwed up. He missed the whole training up. But I don't put a whole lot of stock in the Vikings making an offer to the Panthers. Especially since it was a crap offer. I mean, 14 90, 143, that is such a low ball offer. They were way behind on the trade value chart, and you generally have to give up more when you're the team doing the asking. Like when the Vikings ultimately moved from 14 to 23, they came out ahead on the trade chart uh, by about 45 points, was the equivalent to a mid-fourth rounder. And frankly, if Spielman didn't call every single team in the first round just to gauge trade interest, both the 13 teams ahead of them as well as the teams behind them, he's not doing his job. Like, I want to do an over-under how many trade offers uh, that Spielman made to other teams or fielded from other GMs. In the hundreds, at least, which is what it should be. Wheeling and dealing Rick Spielman. And I wouldn't be shocked if the Vikings made a similar low ball trade offer to all 13 teams ahead of the Vikings just in case one team was like hey we'll take a bad deal go ahead and the consensus is that the Vikings were moving up to eight to get Justin Fields ahead of the Broncos at nine who by the way did not take Justin Fields anyway but maybe they could have been in the business of Rashawn Slater who went to the Chargers or hell maybe even J.C. Horn I wouldn't put it past Mike Zimmer now there are generally two reasons why you make a trade offer to try and trade up number one you're targeting a specific player number two you want to see if the other guy will just give up way more value and i think that it's the latter i think that the vikings were more on a fishing expedition it's like hey maybe the panthers do want to trade down and maybe they'll just give us a break and they'll take this low ball offer and then we'll figure things out at eight where it's extremely possible as opposed to hey we really want this player if we don't get this player we can't live we can't breathe and if that was the case uh the trade offer would have been a lot more ipso facto what the bears gave up to move from 20 to 11 to get justin fields and like i said spielman probably offered every single pick ahead of this but this one was caught on film and then that's what's going to set the narrative by the way i love this access But if I'm a GM whose business just got put out on blast by another squad's media team, why would I ever want to do business with that team again, right? So all these negotiations behind the scenes happen all the time. I I get caught on one, and that's the one that's going to stick forever. Yeah, especially if, oh, maybe Justin Fields blows up or maybe J.C. Horn blows up or wherever. It's like, ah, Spillman, you missed the boat. No, uh, because the Panthers, Panthers are using this as propaganda, man. They're like... We had all these trade offers, and we said no. We said nay, sir, and we took J.C. Horn. That's how much we believe in our guy from Carolina, son of Joe Horn. (laughs) It's bull crap. It is. Plus, it undercuts all the other Vikings draft picks and draft moves. It's like, dur, dur, dur. We didn't want you. We wanted to trade up to eight with the Panthers. No. No, it's so dumb. You drafted who you drafted. Spillman played the board like a fiddle. He landed Darisaw at 23 when he probably would have taken him at 14. And then he got Kellum on the quarterback of the future and Wyatt Davis no matter what with the extra pick. So I'm okay with this draft. I'm okay with it. Actually, I'm more annoyed that all these access videos are coming out. It's like, oh, woulda, coulda, shoulda. Well, you didn't. You didn't. Love the one you with. And I love him, man. I, I do. So chill out. Also, screw you, Panthers. You just made the list. We'll see you week six. Woo. There you go. Uh, but your thoughts. Vikings apparently tried to trade up to eight. Let us know in the comment section below. Subscribe for daily Vikings takes. Want to support that work post on the Venmo. But until next time, Skull Production Value.